Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We have an action-packed episode ready for you today, so sit back, relax, and get ready for the epic plays. Starting things off at our number 5 spot, we have Labreezy and Wukong playing mind games. At the start, he picks a fight with the enemy Vlad, totally fine with it because Vlad is losing creeps to tower. He pretends to use his clone, buying him some time as Vlad searches around, and then he books it for his tower. As Vladimir chases, the enemy Elise also joins the hunt, and Hemoplague is used, so he flashes away to take minimum damage. As he approaches the tower with no Hexdrink or Shield or Flash, he realizes he's in trouble and gets ready for the dive. Transfusion chunks him low, but he keeps his cool and runs directly under the tower. Somehow under all this pressure, he pretends to be a clone, discouraging any follow-up on Elise's stun as he comes out of stealth with an auto attack, securing the kill with the tower's help. Landing in at 4th place, we have Throne Snatcher with a huge turnaround play on Orianna. Right off the bat, we see it's a 4v5, and more importantly, the enemy Irelia sees this and flashes to engage. Orianna cues and then immediately backs up, knowing Malphite will ult in. All of a sudden, she sees an opening and sends her ball back in, waiting for the perfect time to 5-man ult into Dissonance and command attack to completely turn the tides of the fight. She flashes and secures the kill on Vayne, and then turns to help Nidalee chase down Irelia for the pentakill. Patience and an eye for the perfect shockwave single-handedly turned this 4v5 into an ace for red team and earned this play the number 4 spot. Coming in at our number 3 play is the Ninja Brain on Vayne. At the beginning they get a jump on Nunu and after a nice play followed shortly after by a condemn into the wall, Vayne pops her ult and they bring down Nunu as Vayne tumble dodges the rocket. Vayne beautifully moves around Corky and into her creep so that he can't alter as exhaust suppresses his damage. After the double, she wastes no time and heals up as much as possible by life stealing from the creeps while Orianna moves in. She command attacks but a nice tumble avoids it as Thresh hooks and Vayne gets on Orianna. The ball moves out so Vayne reacts with a beautiful tumble out of the ult, allowing her to safely grab the triple. The enemy Jax tries to move in on her, but she keeps a safe distance and allows Fizz to pick him off, resulting in a 4 for 0 exchange. Scoring in at her second place spot is Kitty with a huge play on Lee Sin. Right off the bat we see his team gank Shen forcing him to run away, but instead of chasing, Kitty starts heading to his teammate. As he gets closer, we see Kale is in trouble, but the friendly Kennen is coming around the flank, so he war jumps into a flash to dodge Jarvan's EQ and kick Lux into her team to knock them up so Kennen can come in with the slicing maelstrom. Despite Shen's ult on Lux, they have enough damage to tear through it and finish her off. The rest of the fight ensues with Kennen 1v1 and Corky as the rest of blue team groups to 4v2 the enemy team. Within split seconds of seeing the lightning rush, he understood what Kennen wanted to do and synergized with his teammate to create a beautiful team fight that worked out into a clean ace and baron for his team. And for number one pro play for this week, we have Martin Johnsy on Corky in a high diamond level game. We see him make his way to a team fight by Baron, but he immediately gets zoned by Zyra's ultimate, so he stays in the back firing missiles. With Ari down, they start retreating back as a group, and he knows Jarvan wants the EQ, so he slowed down to see an amazing Valk avoid the knockout right before it lands. Jarvan ults him anyway, so he flashes out, and now that he's safe but zoned away from the fight again, he does what he can with missiles before starting to work his way back into the fight. At this point, it's clear that Blue Team has won the fight and now he's alone in a 1v5, but Renekton keeps chasing him, so he perfectly stutter steps his way back until he can turn and finish off the Gator, followed by the Zyra right after. He doesn't stop as his auto gets Caitlyn despite her flash, and then he Valks to Orianna, leaving a trail of fire that Jarvan can't follow through, allowing him to get the safe quad as Jarvan escapes off into the jungle. Although the Penta seems so close, Jarvan survives the rocket damage and EQs away. With no vision, he could be anywhere. Someone give this guy a medal. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have X3 Lauren with a heroic backdoor attempt gone wrong. As the clip plays, I want to announce a few things. First off, a goal of ours has been to expedite the process of making a teamwork video to allow us to release one a month. After much hard work, I'm happy to announce that our top plays teamwork edition episode number three will be out within the next few days. Besides that, iBuyPower has given us another coupon code, but this time it gets you 5% off any system they have over 999 bucks. More info, including the code name, which is Potato2, will be in the description box down below. Also, if you haven't already, check out Razorcoms, which also can be found in the description box. It's a great free VoIP software that I use frequently, so be sure to check that out. As for my final thoughts, I'd just like to thank everyone for tuning in and spreading word about each of our videos. From a simple like all the way to posting about it on Reddit, we appreciate it all. I remind you that if you like plays like the Corky one, give us a thumbs up to show it. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you back here soon for the next episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.